Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about enum data type in Solidity. So if we talk about enums, enums are basically predefined data types that restrict the variable to have only one of the predefined values. And we will understand this statement with the help of an example. So just don't worry for now. Let us see how we can define an enum in Solidity. So this is how you define an enum in Solidity. First of all, you write enum. Okay, so this is the keyword. And then uh, like the name of this enum. So in this case, I'm writing button, but definitely you can have anything here. And then the value of this button that is either on or off. Okay. And in order to use this enum data type, I need to create this button type variable. So in this case, you will see that I have created this button, which is a variable of this button type. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but don't worry. Once you will see this on our Remix ID, you will understand this. So let us go to our Remix ID and here let us create one enum. So let's say enum and button. Okay. Like this. So button and inside these brackets, I will have on and let's say off like this and do not have any semicolon here. Okay. Uh, there is no semicolon after the enum. So this is a syntax that you have to remember. And then let's say I want to use this enum. I will have to declare this enum type variable. So button, let me have this public. And then let's say button or let's say only X so that you do not get confused when I'm using same, you know, the same variable like button and button. So it might confuse you. So let's say I am using this X. Now let us see what is the by default value of this X variable. So let me deploy this. Let me check. So you will see that the by default value of this X variable is zero and it is showing that it is of UND type. Hmm but this is an enum type, right? So why it is showing a UND type value? And the reason for this is because the values that you're seeing inside this enum, right? Are nothing but these are integer values. So on by default value is zero, off by default value, integer data type value is one. In the same way, if you have one more, let's say, uh, let's say something like, uh, open okay like this so in this case this open will have value of two that's why we have this statement that enums are user defined data types that restrict the variable to have only one of the predefined values now all these values that we are seeing inside these brackets are actually having a predefined value and all these values are integer values okay so they will have only integers value so 0 1 and 2 like this and you can have a limited set of enum so do not think that you can create as many values here so you can have only limited set of values inside this enum and it is a good practice that you should use enum only when you have limited set of values if you have large set of values it is not a good practice to use enum in this case now you must be thinking like what is the use of these enums so let's say Instead of using zero or one, I want to use some predefined values. I want to use some values that, that are more readable in nature. So in this case, on is representing zero and off is representing uh, one, right? So instead of using zero and one, I want to use on and off. So it will make my contract more readable in nature. So let me show you how. So let's say I want to create one function, check status, let's say. So this will check the status of my button, whether it is, whether it is on or off then returns okay and to check their status since this status is of a uh, button type only nm type only so i will simply do return x okay and definitely it is a uh, we are actually referring to the state variable so view and let's say i want to change the status so i will write function change status okay so like this and in this i will have my button then public and then I can val I can change the value of this button type. So currently you will see that it is uh, zero, right? Because it is initially assigned to this on value. So let's say in this, I will have my X and then, okay, one more thing, guys, I have to have the variable also, right? So the value of X and then I will have my X here. Okay. So now let us check this. Let me deploy. So now you will see check status. So it is zero X value is zero, but let's say I want to change the value to off. Okay. So what I will do is I will simply write one here. I will click on change status. Now I will check status. You now see, you can see it is one. 
So at the end of the day, if you will see, NMs are simply integers only. The only thing is that you can represent these integers using this on and off. So by this example, this is for sure that this enum, these values on and off are nothing but these are simply 0 and 1. Okay. And let me show you one more example to clarify this. So let's say I want to create one more function and the name is like, uh, for example, return button, something like this. Okay. And then inside this, I will create public like before creating anything inside. Let me have returns. Okay. And inside this, I will return the memory. Okay. Memory kind of string. So what I will do is I will do if, if X is equal to, if X is equal to button dot on, what I will do is I will return button is on. Okay. And otherwise else, what I will do is I will return button is off. So now if you will see, I'm able to compare this X with this button dot on. And in this X, as I, as I have shown you also that this X consists of zero and one only, right? The zero and one. So this on is representing zero. So if X will be equal to zero, then it will return this. If X is not equal to zero, then it will return this. Let me show you this as well. So let me deploy this. And here, if you will see, I will check the status of X initially. So let me check it. I will simply call X from here. So initial value of X. Okay, let me remove this for now. So this X value, initial value of X is zero. Now let me call this return button. So I will call this return button. So you can clearly see that it is returning us this, that button is on. And why it is returning button is on because X value is zero and button dot on value is also zero, right? Button dot on value is also zero. That's why it is returning button is on. But let's say if I will change the value, I will change the status of this X. Let's say I will change the value of this X to one. Now, if I will again call this value, this return button. So now you can see that it is returning that button is off. And if I will check the value of X, it is one. So this is how actually you use enum in solidity. Now you must be thinking again, like why we are using enum again to make our code more readable in nature. So instead of using zero and one, what I'm using is I'm using button is on button is off. So this will make my contract more readable in nature. Otherwise, if I was using X is equal to zero or X is equal to one, in that case, my program will not be that much readable, right? Because zero and one can be anything. But by using enum, I'm making sure that my program is readable in nature. Because if X is equal to button dot on, I can see that, okay, this button dot on, on stands for something, right? This button dot off stands for something. So this will make my program more readable in nature. So this is what NMs are in solidity. I hope you enjoyed this video. Meet you soon in the next video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay.